Um, obviously, you know, camp starts tomorrow. We're looking forward to getting the guys out on the court. Um, we were hoping to come into camp with everyone healthy. Unfortunately, we found out last week uh, Tyreek will miss three to five weeks. Hopefully, it'll be closer to three weeks than five, but if we we're projecting to be three to five weeks, he'll be out um, with the hamstring strain. Um, so we're, we're looking forward to getting the group out tomorrow onto the court. And we're really looking forward to finding this team can gel. And we we'll look forward and accept the opportunity to compete against the best in the Western Conference. Question. Is there anything in his contract, Dell, that would preclude him or cause him by, by playing in this in the pickup basketball game like that? Or any, any concern about that at all? No, no. Like, you know, guys work out all the time in different locations. You know, the one thing about Tyreek, he was here most of the summer. You know, I, I would like to say he was probably here more than any other player in the summer working out. And then just unfortunate that, you know, the hamstring strain happened in, you know, out of town instead of here. But it could have happened anywhere. You know, I know some people kind of say, like, you know, even when a guy gets hurt when they play for the national teams, you know, it's in a controlled environment. It, it could happen anywhere. I feel like this team's a bit snake bit with these. Just, I mean, you went through it all last year, and we haven't been practicing. Something happened to another key player. Well, you know, I think he'll be back in time. Um, you know, we, we're disappointed he won't be able to participate in training camp because we think it's important for the team to learn to play each other and develop that chemistry. Um, but, you know, next man up. I guess a lot of people some opportunities to prove themselves. He had been rehabbing his knee as, I mean, uh, after having surgery. Was he clear to? Uh, yeah, he was up. clear. Yeah, he was clear to play. Um, he'd been working out with our coaching staff. Like I said, he, he's really, you know, we we're really proud of him because so much time that he had spent in the gym this summer, you know, off all, all the, the work he had put into. So, like I said, it's not only just a point for the organization, but it's a point for him himself as well. <clears throat> About the injuries, have you guys even considered something like a maintenance plan like they did with the heat with um, Wade? Is there any type yeah, we, of looking in there? Yeah, like, you know, one thing we've done with our medical staff, we've added, um, couple more people. Um, we think our group does a great job of um, plans for these guys. Um, you know, we have nutritionists. Um, we, you know, we're doing everything possible to put these guys in situations that they'll be healthy. What do you feel for as expectations? Do you feel accurate to say that you guys go with the trying to be in the playoffs and that's the number one objective? I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, I think it's important for us to have sustained success. You know, we don't want to sacrifice everything just to make the playoffs this year. Obviously, we want to make the playoffs. There's no ifs, ands, buts about that. But I think the most important thing is that we become a good team and we grow. And, you know, we don't want to just make the playoffs get there and get swept. But obviously, we want to make sure that we are a good basketball team and that we gel and we come together. Um, the West is tough. You know, there's no ifs, ands, buts about it. And, we accept the opportunity to go compete against the